All right, welcome to episode three. Today we're going to go over these blinking lights. So uh, a lot of people asked, especially when we were first working on this, um, how to get blinking lights to work. And so by blinking lights, I was referring to these. These are just a bunch of circles that happen to change color at common intervals, right? So in this case, they were Christmas lights, um, red and blue, and I'll show you how they're done. So for um, you basically just have to like mix if statements and sliders. So let's say we wanted to put a dot at one comma one and okay color red first thing you want to do is make a restriction if a is equal to zero so now oh and let's change this into a switch zero one step one so here we got a switch all right so let's set a to zero and here you have it your dot that only appears if a is equal to zero next um, you see, the thing is, we didn't actually make one thing change color. It's actually two separate functions. Uh, so it just kind of gives the illusion that the light's changing color. So one of them while a is equal to zero, one of them while a is equal to one. You press play, and as the slider moves automatically, it appears as if it's blinking. But it's, act it's actually just like hiding one color and showing the other color. And then they just happen to replace each other. So it gives a nice illusion. You honestly aren't restricted by just having two. If you want, you can make it three. So you have, you know, three colors. Uh, yeah, purple works. It's A is equal to two. And then you just make it instead of a switch, it has a state of zero, one, or two. Now it's cycling between all three, where it goes uh, red, green, purple. You know, so you can change the speed just with this. And obviously they don't have to be just dots, because Desmos allows you to, like, change the style they can be like little circles if you want instead now the way we actually did it on our project is we didn't use just points um, instead we did uh, circles so here you go equation of a circle x squared plus y squared is equal to let's say 2 squared so it's your radius squared. Um, and instead of making just a plain circle, we made it an inequality. So, not greater than, sorry. Less than or equal to the circle. So, because it says less than or equal to, it actually fills in everything within the circle. And let's just make the restriction if a is equal to zero. Copy and paste it. And instead of black, let's do blue, because that's what we did on our assignment. And then if a is equal to one, and then let's change this back to a switch. There we go. Switches from red to blue. We actually had multiple of these, so uh, I put them in brackets because you can start translating them after. Let's just copy and paste these. Okay, so let's say you wanted to go uh, move it up by two. No, not 21. Or sorry, not up, down. Oh, I keep forgetting. It's always like within brackets you have to subtract it to move it up. Actually, no, let's make it uh, 4 because the radius is 2. It's got to be double the radius. Anyway, yeah. So one of them, one of the circles is above it, one of the circles is below it. Let's just flip around the colors. Now, this one's blue while A is 0. This one's blue while A is 1. This one's red while A is 1. This one's red while A is 0. Once you do that, you can start making them alternate colors. And yeah, again, you can make as many different colors as you want, so long as you like include it in the restrictions. We only use two colors because any more than that would make it a bit too complicated. Like our CPT, like my computer, my phone already struggle to run it. So uh, the less complicated, the better. That's also why it's kind of light on, um, well, lights. There aren't that many. We didn't want to make it like an actual Christmas tree. Just because like that would just destroy my computer. So yeah, um, that's how you do blinking lights. Of course, this doesn't work for only circles. This works for any equation, really. You can replace this with like y is equal to sine of x, right? And then this one is also, let's say, y is equal to sine x. And they'll also change color. No, oh, oops, that's negative. This one will also change color based off of um, the restriction. So yeah, 
Obviously, you can make multiple different functions follow the same restriction. So let's say y is equal to x squared. That's why a is equal to 1. That's why a is equal to 2. The thing is, you just have to duplicate it if you want it to change color. Make sure that the exact same in the same spot with two different restrictions. And then you're going to start seeing one or the other. So yeah, that's how we did blinking lights. Hope this is helpful.